and welcome to Pharma Z's pharmacy teaching videos. These series of videos are focused on minor ailments, so common conditions treated with over-the-counter medications and advice, and today we'll be looking at teething. Teething is a process in which baby teeth break through the gums, with most children usually starting to teeth at around six months of age, but every baby is different. Usually, the bottom front teeth erupt first, followed by the top front teeth, and then the top and bottom incisors on either side. Looking into this in a bit more detail, the bottom front teeth usually come through at around five to seven months of age, the top front teeth at six to eight months, the top lateral incisors, which are on either side of the top front teeth, come through at around nine to 11 months of age, the bottom lateral incisors, which are on either side of the bottom front teeth, at 10 to 12 months, the first molars, which are the back teeth, come through at around 12 to 16 months, the canines towards the back of the mouth at 16 to 20 months, and the second molars at 20 to 30 months. Most children will have all of their milk teeth by the time they are two and a half years old. The signs and symptoms of teething generally start three to five days before each tooth eruption and include pain, so particularly the gum being sore, swollen and red where the tooth is erupting, increased biting or gnawing, drooling or excess salivation, gum rubbing, sucking, irritability, wakefulness, ear rubbing, facial rash due to the effect of excess drooling, flushing particularly on one cheek, decreased appetite, disturbed sleep, and possibly a mild temperature elevation, but less than 38 degrees. These symptoms are usually mild and self-limiting, so it's really important to reassure parents that this is normal. Common conditions that should be excluded in infants with teething symptoms include infection, such as acute otitis media, gastrointestinal conditions such as infantile colic, and dermatological conditions such as atopic eczema. Medical advice should be sought if the infant becomes systemically unwell, for example they have a high fever, as this may indicate an underlying condition or infection unrelated to teething. In terms of treatments and self-care, sugar-free paracetamol or ibuprofen suspension may be recommended for the relief of teething symptoms in infants aged 3 months or over, if required. For more information on the use of these products, refer to our pain video for when it's suitable and not suitable to use either of these, and our Instagram post for the specific doses in children according to their age. In terms of topical anaesthetics, lidocaine containing products authorised for teething are only available by or under the supervision of a pharmacist, so essentially that means they are pea products sold in pharmacies. Example of these products are Calgel and Anbisol, these products should be used as second line after non-pharmacological treatments and have to specify the indication of teething and the suitable age. Oral lidocaine for use in adults or in other conditions must not be used. If lidocaine-based teething gels are used, you should advise parents to follow the product instructions carefully, which is typically to apply a pea-sized amount of gel to a clean fingertip and spread the product gently onto the sore area of the gum. This can be repeated after three hours if required, but not to be used more than six times in any 24 hours. It's really important to avoid oral choline salicylate gels, as these are contraindicated in children under 16 years old due to the risk of Reyes syndrome. Example of products to avoid is Bongella and Bongella Cool Mint, so don't get the two types of gels confused. Self-care measures to relieve teething symptoms include having the parent gently rub the baby's gum with a clean fingertip, applying petroleum jelly around the mouth and chin to prevent rashes and soreness from excess dribbling, allowing the infant to bite on a clean and cool object, such as a chilled teething ring, which can ease their discomfort and distract them from any pain. Teething gels should be cooled in the fridge, but not frozen. For children who have been weaned, the supervised use of chilled fruit or vegetables such as bananas or cucumbers can be considered. As soon as a baby's teeth erupt, you should remind parents that they should be brushing the baby's teeth twice daily with a baby toothbrush and a small smear of fluoride toothpaste. The easiest way to brush a baby's teeth is to sit them on your knee with their head resting against your chest. 
with an older child stand behind them and tilt their head backwards. Brush the teeth in small circles covering all the surfaces and encourage your child to spit the toothpaste out afterwards. There's no need to rinse with water as this will wash away the fluoride. Parents should be encouraged to take their child to the dentist before the first tooth erupts at around six months of age. And finally, it's fine to give your baby a dummy, but avoid using them after 12 months of age. Using dummies after this can encourage an open bite, which is when teeth move to make space for the dummy. This can also affect your child's speech development. So that's a very quick video looking into teething. It's quite straightforward, but always bear in mind which products you can and can't use. Most importantly, make sure you reassure parents that the signs and symptoms are completely normal and provide them with support because a first time parent may come to a pharmacy for advice. I hope you found that video useful. Please remember to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for our YouTube channel. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date with posts and quizzes. Thank you.